Hello! Oh my goodness, what happened? I see you have an injury down on your leg. How did that happen? You were playing football? Okay. Alright, is there any other place that's injured or is it just that leg area that I see? Just the leg? Alright, can you show me? Can you move your hands around for me? Excellent, excellent. And your other foot feels okay? Alright, do you mind if I just take a look for a moment? Okay. okay. Alright, and can you wiggle your toes? Very good. So no injury on that side? Okay, so why don't you go ahead and have a seat? Okay. I'm going to put on some hand sanitizer. So it's just the one leg where you feel pain. But you can go ahead and move your toes on both sides, I saw. I'm just going to look at both of your feet and make sure that you can um, feel my touch and make sure I feel some pulses, okay? All right, and again, I'm Nurse Lauren. I'll be taking good care of you today, okay? I know we've met before, yes. Go ahead, put on some gloves first. Okay. All right, sweetie. So again, I'm just going to look over the areas, and then I'm going to lightly touch um, and make sure that you can feel my touch. And make sure I feel some pulses. So I am going to remove your shoes, okay? Just sit back and relax for a moment. All right. All right. Brings your legs forward to me. Both of your legs feel nice and warm. Do you feel pulses on both of your feet? That's good. And wiggle your toes for me again. Very good. Excellent. All right. So what I'm going to have you do first is just swing your legs over into this high-rise sink. And I'm just going to let some nice warm water run over your um, injury there, okay? See, there's some dirt in it. We just want to make sure we get all that out before we bandage you up, okay? No, it shouldn't hurt really, okay? Swing your legs over here, but don't stick your um, injury under the water until I ask you to do so. I want to make sure it's a good temperature first. Nice and warm, but not too warm. All right, sweetie, that feels good. Go ahead and put your wound under there. We're going to let the warm water run over it, okay? Get one of these antibacterial wipes here. I'm just going to gently cleanse the area. Is that gentle enough for you, sweetheart? I'm going to go ahead and turn the water off now. All right, and swing your legs back over this way onto the table. Good. All right, I'm going to use this 
clean towel just to dampen, uh, I'm sorry, to dry off the area. It might still be a little bit damp, okay? Um, I'm just going to dab this on top. I'm not going to rub it. So again, it should not hurt. more clean now. So now I'm going to just work on bandaging. First I am going to use some of my antibacterial spray here. I'm just going to spray the area a little bit, okay? This might sting just a little bit, but it will go away. I know it stings just a little bit. It will go away. Okay. Now the whole area is covered. I'm just going to let that set in. It's going away. All right, excellent. It's just going to keep the area nice and clean and cleared out from any kind of bacteria. Don't want any kind of an infection, okay? All right, excellent. All right, so now I'm going to just take this little bit of gauze. the area almost perfectly. Very good. good. All right, sticking down around the sides. Perfect. And now I just have this sterile roll. And I'm just going to roll this around the gauze to help to hold it in place as well. And keep the area nice and clean and dry. Okay. So, sweetie, are you going to be able to lift your leg up as I roll this around your leg, do you think? Yes? Okay, excellent. Alright, I'm going to start by just draping it under your leg, so lift me just a little bit. good and snug, but not too snug. Does it feel too tight? Good. Okay. So what I'm going to do is clamp this down into place. I'm just going to use these clamps here. They shouldn't hurt, okay? okay. And clamp all the gauze down in place. my scissors and I'm just going to cut along the gauze, okay? Again, this shouldn't hurt or come anywhere near to your skin. Okay, just stay still for me, sweetheart.
done with the scissors now. That's all done. Take my clip. All right. Excellent. I'll put the rest of my gauze down. All right. Let me just feel the area. Still feel nice and warm both above and below on both legs. That's good. Okay, and you can still wiggle your toes. Great. And I'm just going to put my hands on your feet and just feel both pulses again. Excellent, excellent. Alright, so now what I want you to do is just rest and relax for a little bit. I don't want you going anywhere for a few, okay? You're not going to end up playing football for at least a little while until we see how the swelling is, see how the pain is. All right? I don't think there's any kind of uh, serious injury, but I do want you to just give your body some time to heal. So I'm going to have you keep your leg up on that table like it is now. We're going to keep it elevated and iced and cleaned. Okay, so I'm going to send you home with a couple more gauzes as well as with with your own tape here, wrapping gauze tape. Uh, and I want you to just make sure you keep it uh, nice and clean. So keep it under some warm water with some, red, uh, some soap. That should keep the area nice and clean as well. Uh, if you have any antibacterial ointment, that would be very good to apply also. Okay. I would change it up um, just as often as you would normally shower. And then in the shower, let the warm water and the soap run over the area. Okay, let it breathe a little bit afterwards. Pat it dry, again like I did, don't rub it. And then afterwards, you'll apply your gauze and then your sterile gauze tape to secure the area. Okay, but for right now I'm going to have you sit down for a little while, for at least 20 minutes. I'm going to have you keep your leg elevated and I'm going to ice it for you, okay? You're going to want to elevate it for um, a couple of days and do some 20 minutes of icing, followed by 20 minutes of no ice, okay? At least a couple of times throughout the day, majority of the time keeping it elevated. If you have any concerns, always come back to me, let me know what's happening. Uh, or if you have any concerns while you're at home, make sure that you go to the doctor immediately, okay? All right, sit there for one moment. I'm just going to go into our freezer here and get a little ice pack. Little ice pack right here. And I'm going to wrap it up just in our little towel so it doesn't go straight on your skin. Okay. I'm just going to put it right here on top of your injury. Okay. So just relax. It's a pleasure taking care of you today, sweetheart. I do hope you feel better. Again, just relax and let me know if you need anything.